Okay, this is Florida Explorer, where I should say I'm, I keep forgetting I'm alone today. Um, at the Oak Lawn Cemetery in Tampa. Um, this is not an abandoned cemetery, although they don't inter here anymore. Um, and it's definitely not out in the middle of nowhere, as you can see. There's downtown Tampa. However, this significance of this location is that it was the first public burial ground in Tampa. Opened in the uh, mid-1800s before the war. So, that's, uh, that's one of the things that makes this really a unique situation. There are luminaries buried in here. Some uh, governor... Judges, um, the Leslie family's buried in here, the Wall family, um, and there's also uh, a section where people who were lynched and um, you know people who were were at that time considered to be. Uh, people who were not necessarily worthy of note, noteworthy. Um, well, I'm sure they valued their lives very highly. They were not honored when they passed with big burials or big markers and that sort of thing. Um, so, for the most part, um, this is an area where the high and mighty of that time would have been buried. You can see these burials here are 62. That guy died in the war. And that guy died right after. That's buried here. Um, I know that there's an organization that does upkeep on this place, but I'm not sure the name of it. So here's the Wall family. CSA. Very, very cool old oak trees. So. And there's a place here where the tree has grown around the uh, an old grave, an old gravestone, I should say. Um, I saw it the last time I was out here. I forget now where, where it is. I think it's over this way somewhere. But it's just interesting how they that sort of happened over time. Here it is, that's neat. Yeah, very cool. There's a vet. And there's a uh, the stone, basically lost to history by the fact that um, the tree is growing around it. We got a Catholic area. So they, they didn't discriminate, and there was no separation of a person's remains by whatever racial or ethnic or religious affiliation they had when they were alive. Well, I guess in a sense it is sort of sectioned out. Um, the 
And this is some of the newer area up in here. These burials go back to 1920, 1930. The older burials are over there in the corner. They got the ubiquitous woodman stones. There's an area over here, and I don't recall exactly where it is, but these influenza victims are buried, or, or yellow up, yellow fever epidemic, I think it might have been. back up this way somewhere. Oh, this is a memorial to the soldiers and sailors interred here. John T. Leslie SCV Camp, UDC. Here's a memorial dedicated to sea captains and mariners. And this is the in memory of the victims of the yellow fever epidemics. 53, 58, 67, 71, 87, 88 were buried here at this center. So, this gives you a, kind of an overview. It's actually a very beautiful spot. Just, a, just an incredible spot. The oak trees and, and that sort of thing. Oh, here we go. This is, this is one of the most compelling areas of any cemetery that I've ever been to. Um, this marker is to the slaves buried in Oakland Cemetery. And it's set here in 1978. But this was just, this whole little area right here. Um, for example, this says Willoughby, a slave, died in 1857. This is a Negro slave Leslie family. They didn't even give him a name or her a name. Uh, this is one of the most interesting ones I've ever seen anywhere. Adam, a black slave, lynched in 59. So they just hang this poor dude with no, probably no trial or any kind of inquiry or anything like that, and buried him out here. Then there's another one. Oh, here we go. A Cuban pirate killed 1850. And this one says, uh, Mr. Hubbard, a Cuban pirate found dead in the woods. So he just, they just found him in the woods and buried him here. And here's another one that's interesting. Charles Owen hanged, 1882. We don't know that guy's story, but my my sense of it is that this this area was the, the Potter's Field area of the cemetery. To the extent that these people didn't have enough money for their own burials, so they just brought them out here and put them in this area, put them in this this part of the part of the cemetery. So anyway, we're gonna photograph it and plenty of research on the people. These are some of the movers and shakers of Tampa and Hillsborough County from before the war. And a lot of vets again, a lot of vets buried here as well. So very, very, very historically significant and important burial ground. Um, there's the first mayor of Tampa, 1856. 
Okay, so we're out, or I should say I'm out. <laughs>